what are some of the biggest mistakes you've made over the years? Learning how to trans transform um, from being a cowboy leader, which you almost have to be when you're coming out with an idea and you've, you're out there galloping on the horse and hoping people will follow you with an idea that doesn't sound very good to anyone else but you think is just the best thing since sliced bread. And then transitioning that once you've built enough of a customer base to get a certain number of employees, you eventually plateau where you've got to actually go from being a cowboy to being a servant leader. Have you experienced that as well? Definitely. Definitely. And I see that, I've seen that mistake both personally as well in, as in clients. I think a lot of organizations start out as a proprietorship, and if they're successful, they become a business. And if they're very successful, they become a company. Those are three different stages from proprietorship to business to company, and often take different people mm -hmm. in different roles in order to bring those to that next place. What is a sign to a business that they're in that mode right now where they need to make that transition? Well, I think the first clue is that you um, start losing money with the same volume of business that you had. I think also um, what has worked is no longer working and so from the leader's perspective there's much more frustration because you don't fully understand it. You know, why are we not doing well now when we did so well earlier? Um, and that frustration can very easily start penetrating through your organization. Jeff, what do you think is one of the signs? An attraction to bright, shiny objects. So they're looking for what's the next thing that could be new. And, and so, because there's not clarity about how they're going to get to where they want to go, they get distracted and looking for other things that sound good. What tip so. would you give somebody that wants to make that transition? Find good counsel. Create an advisory board. Uh, you may or may not title it, but bring a team of people and specifically that are strong in certain functions around your business. Don't bring five people that all know marketing. Someone knows legal, HR, ops, supply chain, finance, leadership, wh whatever it is in that business. That would be the simplest way, I think, to get through that. Objective counsel from different perspectives.